Hello everybody, how are you? It's good to see you this fine, humid, cloudy day, but it's warm, so that's a good thing. I wanted to pop on here and try and do a quick video. It's gonna be a combination video. It's going to be my first things that I'm loving and my favorite things combo video. I will try and keep it short and maybe it'll lead to a video in more in depth uh, later on. How do we like the hair? It is fixed somewhat. Thank you to my husband who kindly chopped it off for me. Um, and uh, so nice healthy hair and I can proceed to continue to grow it back out. Okay, so some things that I am enjoying. Some things are um, actually new and some things are old. There is a variety of things. Pretty much, I'm pretty much staying in the makeup section. Um, I have a whole skincare routine that I do that keeps my skin looking somewhat decent to me, at least. Um, if you would like to see a video on that, um, just leave a message in the comments section and I will try and scramble a video together of that. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, and here comes the pouring rain. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel now. Just go ahead and hit the box, subscribe button, and the uh, little bell next to it, which will let you know each time I upload a video. So to begin, I'm kind of gonna go along the lines of what goes on in somewhat of an order. I will tell you some of the things that I definitely use. I always use this totally over Beauty. It's a beauty elixir. It's smoothing and it leaves a glowing complexion. I spritz this on my face as a cooling, refreshing spritz before I even begin anything. Sometimes if it's warm, I'll put the fan on and it just, it feels like it revives my skin. And I've, I have actually run out of this product and not ordered it. And I find, I'm not sure what it does to my skin, but it definitely, if I go and put a cream creamer or a primer on it and then put my makeup, my foundation on it, it sits so much better for some reason. I've skipped this step and my foundation and primer have just not looked the same. I've tested the theory and I don't know what it is. So I try not to, to go without it. it uh, it's become a regular staple. I have somewhat oily skin so, but dry in the winter time, very dry. So I've read some comments where some people have said that it dries out your skin. I haven't found that it's dried my skin in the winter and I have not found that it has contributed to any of my oiliness either or done anything in, the, in that way. I just do one or two spritzes, pat it around, it's refreshing, it smells delicious and like I said, said I'll put a fan to it and it's just I don't I don't go any further without it anymore so this is one of my favorite products and I will not be happy if I don't have one of the next things I love I have not actually found a primer and I've got a draw full that um that I say is my holy grail primer however I do say that I guess you could consider it. All right, we'll put it in the primer section. My favorite so far um, in the way of prim priming is Bobbi Brown's uh, face base. I have to reorder. A little goes a long way. I find that it sits perfectly underneath my foundation. I have not found anything that sits as well under my foundation. It's what I have on my skin today and it's just, it's beautiful and it's comfortable. So that is also one of my favorites. I've been using this for quite some time. 
I haven't found anything that is equal to it yet. If anybody has any recommendations, feel free to let me know. I would love to find something that would be a little bit more drugstore friendly. So, and like I said, I have a full, full, full drawer here of product that I am still trying that I'll be working through um, primer wise. Um, some things will just be fun to try and um, but if I really want to go out and you know want my makeup to be really nice then I stick with the Bobbi Brown face. I have tons of other things that I do like. Okay um, on to foundations. So far, my top two foundations that I do love, and there's plenty of them that I like, but ones that I know I can rely on when I want to have a really nice look. Um, one of them is going to be the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. It never fails. It always stays in place. It it just, I find that it doesn't, it doesn't budge. Um, this is, I think, what I'm wearing today. No, today I'm wearing, um, I'm trying to finish up my Bye Bye it, It's Cosmetics. This is another fantastic one as well. Um, I love these. I love the illuminating one, but Estee Lauder Water, absolutely fantastic. One of my other favorites, and I have to say my favorites do tend to run on the pricier side, is my Giorgio, Giorgio Armani Sheer Foundation. I love these. I find I do not need a lot. I don't have to put a lot of foundation on my face, so I can go um, pass along with the sheer ones. I don't need a full foundation um, product, but that is one of my favorites as well. Um, as a drugstore, honestly, I haven't come across a favorite. I like them all so far. Um, CoverGirl has some good ones, and then Neutrogena has some, has some great ones. Like I said, I do not have to stick with any brand. They all, for me, do well um, on my skin. I don't, I don't quite know what it is. Um, I'm just lucky in that matter. There is one thing that I did want to mention, and I guess it does go along with like a skin routine. I always wear sunblock. I should in incur the that use. Um, always put sunblock on your face just to keep it healthy and to prevent any um, cancers and harmful rays. That's not something else we need with, along on top of this pandemic. One of the ones that I'm enjoying right now and I just happened to fall upon it. So it's what I've been using right now. I don't have, I don't have out the one that I was using before that I was very happy with. I'm gonna have to pick, it is a drugstore. I can't remember the brand, but I'll recognize the bottle when I see it. I think it was Oil of Olay, and it had, but I have to pick up another bottle. But um, that, I, I would mix with my foundation and it would go on with no issue, but Another thing that I was also doing, um, you, what that I fell upon was the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen, and I can mix this or use it by itself and just throw that on underneath my makeup. So on the days that I get a little tan or my body gets a little tan, or I should say I use, um, a tanner and I need my face to match. Um, I have found that I love, um, using the Drunk Elephant um, Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. And I mix this and some Smashbox Primerizer and I put that all over my face. Oh, and I'll, and my sunblock and um, perfect mix and then throw some foundation on. So I love these two products together as well didn't do it today because not going anywhere. One of the things that I love, and again, it is another Giorgio or Armani, but I haven't found anything else. And I guess I am a little, my under eye bags bother the heck out of me that they're always just so dark. I can't stand it. And no matter how much light I get, no matter, no matter how much sleep I get, I can't stand it. So again, on a day that I need to look my best, I 
fell upon Giorgio Arm. It, I'm not even sure of the name of it, but it is an under eye corrector. And this is kind of like in a salmon color. It's in shade one. It's his master corrector. I don't remember how I fell upon it, but I put a few strips and then I dab it in with my fingers and I might have to do it depending on how dark the circles are. I used it today and to just kind of show I had really, really dark, dark circles and it just, it neutralized them, I guess I could say. It's something that I will keep. I don't use it a lot. A little goes a long way for me. Um, so even though it is on the pricier side, it's something that I find I, I cherish and I don't use a lot of. So it lasts me. Then on top of that, with the same premise, that it lasts me. This is a little bit, again, on the more expensive side. Um, it's made by Lancome. I don't know how I fell upon this one either. I think it's just by browsing. It's a waterproof, long lasting under eye concealer. I don't use it for any other part of my face, just under eye. And I was attracted to the fact that it said waterproof. I think that's how I was like, oh, I'm gonna try that because I sweat. I'm not gonna be shy about it. I, when the summer comes, I sweat. My face sweats. I am like, always been like that. This is waterproof, so it doesn't come off as easily. But this is the Lancome uh, Waterproof Anti Long Lasting Underneath Concealer. And does it work? I love it. it. I've been using this for several years now and put these two together. And for me, at least for me, it is a magic combination. And as I said, a little goes a long way. Now, drugstore wise, my favorites are, have been for a while, haven't found anything that is the same. It's Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind and I use the dark erase circles and then the multi-usage in a lighter color to brighten my face a little bit. And I will use the darker color uh, to spot conceal because um, it's more of my tone of my skin. And I'll use this to brighten it up a little bit. So love these. These are my favorites for drugstore. They haven't, they have not let me down so far. Now to basically set all my makeup, I find that the products that I use, I definitely need to always at least set my under eye. And then now that I've explained that I'm always usually sweaty, the, my favorite is the Laura, Laura Mercier. I do use her loose powder. This is her translucent packed powder or pressed powder. She's one of my favorites. I love Hourglass, but I mean, I am always keeping her in my draw. She's her, her translucent powder is just always there. The other um, one that I would consider more drugstore, even though it is more, it's, it's a, it still is expensive, but it isn't a loose powder, but I buy it at Target is um, number seven, the setting powder. Now as a really, really drugstore price, if I'm just going out and having some fun and just want to set it or everything real quick, I use, actually it doesn't, it isn't in Walmart right now. So I have to buy it on Amazon. I seem to have to buy everything from Rimmel is no longer being carried in Walmart. Rimmel Mac, love it. it, it it works beautifully. I just go to the door of the D T zone. And so that's pretty much my drugstore favorite there. Then as for contouring, it shouldn't be much of a surprise um, that the thing I use the most out of contouring is my NYX three-step to sculpt powder. That's pretty much what I use to contour my cheeks slightly and then contour my forehead just a wee bit, my nose a wee bit, throw some on my neck and 
Um, I'll occasionally use the lighter powder um, to brighten up the rest of my face if I've overdone it some sometimes. And I am I'm not afraid to uh, use the uh, highlighter either. So this is one of my mostly used products actually. And then I don't have one particular um, regular like bronzer that I use. I like all, well, I love, <laughs> I love all bronzers. I think one of the ones I grab for mo most often, and I don't know if it's just because it's towards the front of the draw, is my Hoola bronzer. I seem to grab this up a lot. I can't say it's the most convenient thing. I I do love the balance that it pro looks on my face. It's not more reddish toned. It's it's a war nice warm tone to it. So it looks decent on my face. I don't look like I'm weird. And then of course, you were all pretty much uh, here to witness the fallout of me not not getting my buxom dolly blush which did come in today because I reordered it I didn't send the other one back it wasn't a bad shade I liked all three so I'm gonna recommend all three if you're looking for, well I'm gonna recommend the brand buxom um I love I collect their lip glosses their plumping lip glosses I'm a huge fan of them and even just their regular lip glosses I love love them. Buxom's a great brand. Uh, if you're looking for a beautiful blush, I have, this came, came in after I had already used, put blush on my face. So the one that I am wearing today is the Joa. You maybe in my next video, I'll put Dolly on and not that you'll see the difference because it'll all look the same. But anyway, that is one of my favorites and drugstore. One of my favorites is Revlon's Naughty Nudes. I love, I love the tone of this on my face. It kind of blends in really well with my bronzer all, all the time. So yes, love that. You should see my drawers here. They're just packed and half the time I don't get to stuff. Okay, so next I, you, you probably have heard or I've told you by now that I do like to use a liquid or cream highlighter. If I had to pick uh, two that I would refer to, my first would be Charlotte Tills Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter. This stuff lasts forever. I put about four little drops here and then four little drops here. And then I put one or two up there, one on the tip of my nose, one on the Cupid's bow, and I gently blend it in. And that's probably mostly what you're seeing right now. And to me, it's a quite a natural look. So I love that. My high-end one favorite probably is Marc Jacobs. Um, the spotlight glow stick. I just, I love this. Again, it's a very natural re radiant look. I do have to throw um, another one in because I've really started to love their products. RMS Beauty's um, Illuminator. That That's a great product, cream product too. For those that don't want to sparkle and glow to the aliens like I do, that is a very subtle highlighter or illuminator for the cheeks. It's very natural looking. And then um, for a powder from going out for the night, which that hasn't happened in a, quite some time, I do like, I actually have just fallen in, fallen for this milk makeup um, highlighter in ice. I love it. It is beautiful. It's just a very, it's so pretty. What can you say? It's just pretty. So a little bit of that, not a lot, just a little. Before that, I was using and love Dari Hard Fanatic for Max Often Gentle. Very gentle glow there. It's just, it's soft and gentle is what it is. I don't remember how I heard about it, but just it's one of my favorites. I'll never give this up. I did forget to mention, I just recently got and am enjoying Nude Stick. Um, I don't know if anybody of my or any of my friends use this. These Nude Sticks, I've been 
been slowly enjoying them and incorporating them a little bit. I'm really liking them um, and hope to use them some more. This is a um, all over face bronzer. I liked it. it it's got a brush at the end. I just don't, I'm not, I'm not into the brush. I do love the color. I've tried putting it on two different ways now. I have used uh, just a brush here and just dabbed it on and not that I need it anymore, but and then added it on and it almost kind of takes the place of having to use a bronzer and a blush because it almost marries the two. I, I think it, it takes away both of them. You can go in and, ha and add a little bit more bronzer if you wanted to, but I it's such a deep color that it's lovely. You almost don't need to. Um, so I am excited and actually now I'm interested in the nude stick brand. I have a few other things. I don't have many items of theirs. Um, it's actually trying this one has actually wanted me to try some others. The nude sticks, you know, if you want to send some my way, then that would be great. And otherwise I'll have to wait until I can afford some. Let's see. I don't really have an eye product, eyebrow product. I pretty much <laughs> my standard is is um, I like the Benefit brow. Precisely my brow is what I use. I'm out right now, so I'm using this Anastasia Brow Wiz. It, to me, is almost the same. One thing I do, do find is that I will go in with a pencil with a slightly deeper color, but then when I need a gel or something um, to just hold my brows in place because I get some unruly ones going around. I like to go in with either ColourPop's or, which is a reasonably priced brand, but I love their brush. Their brush is just perfect. Where is it? Hello. The brush is just perfect. It, it just gets right in there. And this is ColourPop's and I use a lighter shade. So if I go in dark with a pencil and then go in lighter. This is my old color. This is blonde and it's still looking pretty good in there. Also, um, every if it's, it's not really ever on sale, I can't even say that. But if I'm getting a couple other things from Glossier, Glossier Glossier's Boy Boy Brow, <laughs> bleh. Um, is the same, the same type of brush, works just the same. So I love them both. It just depends if I'm ordering from Glossier. Those are the two things that I pretty much am using right now. CoverGirl is very similar to it. It's got a very small pencil. I like the small pencils where I can make fine lines. Eyeshadows that I have been loving or palettes that I've been loving. I have to say I have fallen deeply madly in love and am currently having an affair with the Sigma Gorda de Rosa palette. I, I I just, I love this palette. It's my, I love, just lost the brush. I love the colors. There's just something about the colors. I really enjoy it. I am really enjoying it. If you like these tones, the I would highly recommend it. So this is what I'm loving right now. I am also enjoying going through all my palettes and rediscovering what I have. And so I found this one back there. That's my Too Faced Natural Love Palette. And these are the shade, warm, the warm shades in there that I've been enjoying. And I'm finding that when I was looking through all my old palettes that I have a lot of palettes that I need to rediscover. So I am going to cry and put a ban on myself so I do not buy any new palettes and I will be trying to make some looks with all of the lovely palettes that I have. And hopefully the ones that I pull out um, will still be purchase purchasable. They will still be able to be purchased um, so if you're interested, then you can purchase, purchase the palette. Um, 
yeah lipsticks i can't recommend any if it's in lipstick form i love it really couldn't tell you although it is quite different no it is quite difficult to enjoy thoroughly enjoy lipsticks when you have a mask on your face and i understand the necessity of having a mask on your face but it certainly dulls the it takes the in the it takes the enjoyment out of it it really does so i I did get I did buy one and I wanted to try it on I heard wonderful things so I figured I would try it on right now I would try it on right now um it's Wayne Goss Goss. It's his new lipstick. I only purchased, because I didn't want to spend too much, I only purchased cream lipstick. I purchased Orchid. I loved the reddish tone to it and I love corals. So Mm. Wow. Wow. Okay. I love, first of all, I love the packaging. It's beautiful. It's just, it's sleek. Of course, it's got my prints on it already. And it just, it, say, it says Wayne Gus. The lipstick, it's his cream lipstick. I love the color and it's just very creamy. It's beautiful. That I will definitely enjoy. Beautiful job, Mr. Goss. Excellent, I love it. Oh, that's gonna be one that's just gonna, I'm gonna be scared to use it. Oh, oh no. <sighs> so th those are pretty much my favorites. I will round out the end with pretty much what I've been using and enjoying right now. I haven't really found a setting spray that I really haven't liked. Right now I am using Lila B's A Glow Face Mist and it does leave a nice uh, little glow to your face. Um, the the smell is not overpowering. It uh, the sprayer is beautiful. It's a very light mist. It doesn't like shoot you in the face. Very nice. I am thoroughly enjoying this. So. I think that's about it for my way of makeup. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you want to let me know what your favorites are or mention anything that I should try, uh, let me know. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it, uh, give it a thumbs up for me and I will see you in my next video. Until I do, stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye.